Merry Christmas, the shitter's full. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. Today you join myself, this 86 Toyota Camper, and my buddy Ezra out in the woods. And today we are going to attempt to fix this sucker. And until it's fixed, we cannot return to civilization. I should have brought deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back folks. Today, like I said, I have Ezra, this 86 Toyota camper that I bought off Marketplace well over a year ago, and the woods, which will be our home until this sucker drives out of the woods. I don't know a damn thing about this besides the fact that the guy that sold it to me said it had electrical issues, and when he hooked the battery up, nothing happened. No fire? Nothing. It doesn't have electrical issues then. There might be a fire. <laughs> Let's do a quick tour on this sucker, and then we will start turning wrenches. Yeah. Ezra, you want to give us the... Give us a tour. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Do I need to take my shoes off before you come in? Maybe just scrape them off on the rug. First. Okay. okay. Oh, we have a Bible. Oh. That's gonna be convenient. And a bush light. That's like a match made in heaven. Oh, I don't know a damn thing about these trucks. I've never worked on one, so this is gonna be kind of nice to have. Yeah, got... Fire extinguisher in the green, so Ooh. if we have an electrical fire, we should be good. <laughs> We've got a clock older than either of us. <laughs> just that, that straight up part of the cabinet. They didn't even cover it. That was from the Titanic. Oh. <laughs> you got our oven back here. A mirror. Hello. This is me. A bathroom with a shower and another mirror. Oh, yeah. Watch your head. You fit in here pretty well. But how tall are you? Like 5'9. I'm 6'2. <laughs> here, hold this. Hmm. This is going to be a fun weekend. It doesn't even stink. No, it's actually pretty good in here. Can we watch Shrek later? Oh my god. Dude, that is sick. Where did that technology go? Is that a, that's a sun visor, right? Yeah. Why did that not stick around? Uh, I believe he said that the radio was stolen when this was in storage, and ever since then, none of the electrical worked. Interestingly, this one, unlike most Toyota campers, is an automatic transmission. Usually these little four bangers are four speeds or five speeds. I think they're five speeds. I would rather it a manual. Yeah, me too. Oh, well, she's got a hundred thousand on her. That's it. Someone drove this with this big camper with a four banger, a hundred thousand miserable miles. I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad as I think, but I can't imagine this does more than like thirty-five. <laughs> with the haul off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that even came with an overdrive. <laughs> Let's go take a look under the hood. Oh, EFI. Yeah. Yeah, we have a fuel injected. Uh, what is this? A twenty-two RE or something like that? I just know that the Toyota world loves these because they were immortal. That's why it's in an RV. Hundred thousand immortal. <laughs> I do see we have a battery. To the top post. It is. I also see that we have a uh, fuse missing. It looks like. I bet that looks like a main fuse to me. Well, I suppose we just dive right into this. Let's pull that sucker out, get a battery in it, and see if anything comes to life. Yeah. We're off to a great start. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> both grounds off. Don't even get me started on the positive. Like, what is this? I wonder it has electrical issues. I was going to say, are you sure it didn't start on fire yet? <laughs> Not yet. There's still time. <laughs> All right. Batteries mostly connected-ish. I made a new fuse. Let's see if anything happens. Are you ready for your fire? Fire. Oh. Oh, I can feel the heat already. Ow, shit. Well, do we got anything on the dash? I'm gonna get in the car. <laughs> hey, we have lights. No way. Dang it, there's a check engine light. Shit. There's also a brake light and a charging light. And an oil light. Should I try it? Hit or see what happens. I'm just bump it here once. Nothing. I'm okay. gonna assume it's something to do with all of the copper under the hood. <laughs> yeah, look at just the mess we got going on here of, of stuff. All ran back to the battery. Like this one. Literally runs to the fused post on the permanent solenoid, or the, the stay-on solenoid for the charging the RV battery. And then they could have just ran that one right there too, but no. Right back to the battery. That one also back to the battery. Okay. DC is a circle and it all starts at the battery. <laughs> Everything <laughs> has to go back. Let's see what we can figure out on that starter. Maybe the starter wire is hanging off. There, Wait, there was a new starter in one of the drawers in there. Oh, really? I think I think someone's fought this before. Oh. Okay, well, everything down by the starter looked okay. I didn't really see any issues. It's probably something under that dash, seeing you know, all those wires ripped out. So to skip all that, we've taken the easy route and wired this straight to the signal solenoid. Hey, there we go. Sounds good. Now, 
do we have a fuel pump when we turn the key on? There was a whining noise, but I don't really think that was a fuel pump. I'll go lay by the tank. You turn the key. I have no idea how long this has been sitting, so there's a chance this thing's junk. Hit it. Alright. Try it again. Alright. Nothing. Yeah, there's no noise. Tell you what, though. In our camping materials, we do have some brake clean. And the ignition does come on and light the dash up. Yeah, you want to see if it has spark? Yeah, we'll see if she's got spark in a computer. All right. All right, keys on. That's going to be an issue we have to deal with later. Give her a go. Ooh. Oh, all right, try again. Okay. There we go, that went in. Uh, let me know. Oh, I think that loud clacky was this guy. Yeah, I think we got an exhaust leak over here somewhere. Just making sure it wasn't, you know, a rod. Yeah, that that's the whole gasket right there. We'll have to make a gasket out of tree bark. All right, well, we have a motor that runs, which means the ignition works. Oh, wow, that comes apart, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's all as like exposed solder joints, so we could like easily test why the the key isn't cranking. Holy cow, that's convenient. Yeah. Well, shoot, throw yeah. that on there, find a good ground. I mean, we can always run it back to the battery. Well, it's supposed to be, but oh, it's not yeah. long yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you should bring the battery to us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one's hot. That one's hot. That one's hot. That one's hot. Well, it works with the key, so our problem is not up here. I wonder why. I wonder why. It, might be an ignition override, so it gets 12 oh, volts to the coil. Yep, I uh, I would believe that for sure. You said you found another fuse box in here too? Yeah, this guy. And do you know Japanese? Because I don't know English. I believe that says engine or it's inagi. There's a smiley face. <laughs> EFI engine ignition. We should check those three. Our EFI fuse tested good. You got power on both ends? Yep. Engine tested good. The ignition is good. Okay, well. It's not that. I guess we tested the fuel pump then. Yeah, I suppose. What do you think this one is? Oh, Lord. I don't want to... It kind of looks like AC to me. And you said I can't leave until this... We yeah, no civilization, <laughs> so we drive out. <laughs> you all good down there? Yeah, key on. We'll see what happens. I'm praying your light does not turn on. I don't want to do a fuel pump today. Key on. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. Nothing? No light turned on. Okay, here, let me... Off, on. Nothing. Try an alternate ground. Not even a little. Supposedly there's a connector we can test up front. I'm gonna uh, see if I can find these weird connectors. Okay, so we've been reading a little bit here. Found our fuel pump test connector way over here. You're supposed to be able to turn the key on and then shove a jumper in there. Hear that? That's a fuel pump. Oh yeah, I can hear fuel pressure up here. Oh yeah, it's working great. This is essentially a hard wiring it, I think. Why, why isn't the truck turning it on? Why doesn't the truck crank itself? That's another great question. Do you think it has anything to do with the, the $400 of copper added to this thing, or no? <laughs> No. Our mass airflow sensor is not going to work right now since that's unplugged. It's going to run like crap. So I will unplug it, hopefully in theory forcing it back to a base map where it will run. Whoa. Like that. That's it. Run.
tape, see if we can fix this. Plug the mass airflow back in, maybe it'll actually rev. Check engine light is still on. Dang it. Well, she runs, not great. Huge exhaust leak, there's a whole bolt missing in the manifold over here. I think that's most of our noise. Uh, as you saw, it runs off the brake clean, so it's not getting enough fuel, whether that be a fuel pressure issue or probably the fact that this is unplugged, I don't know. Let's get that hooked back up, tape the boot up, see if it runs better. We might be able to make it back to civilization quicker than we thought. That's good, I didn't bring deodorant. Although, the fuel pump still doesn't actually turn on when it's supposed to. We got some electrical work to do yet. <laughs> I don't think anything inside the camper works either. Okay, tape. All right, well, I'd say that's permanently fixed. Why did the exhaust noise stop? What just happened? Maybe the head finally swelled up enough and it shut it up. The timing changed or something. This is idling a little high. Probably a bunch of vacuum leaks next time. I hear one over here. You hear it too? Yeah. I hear a vacuum leak, but I can't find it. It's definitely idling way too high. Will it run if I unplug this? Interesting. What? I don't know. <laughs> Suddenly we unhot wired the fuel pump and now it just, it's just fine. We are ready. What are the chances it restarts right now? Yeah, good, good question. Is the fuel pump going to turn itself back on? Yeah, ready? Try it. It sure seems like it. That's weird. That's the chance the horn works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, Toyotas are still made out of Toyota and they're apparently immortal and fixed themselves. Hot, oh, it's hot and run. R U N. Hot and run. Engine fuse, 15 amp. This is the tiniest little thing. <laughs> Dude, do you have a magnifying glass? Um. What kind of camper doesn't have a magnifying glass? How are we going to start a fire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we got that covered, actually. Looking for relays, we found matches. Can we just go to Holiday Inn instead? This camping trip is not fun. It'll be fun once you fix the camper, son. <laughs> also, we found this little doodad. Oh, it's literally an Acme. <laughs> anyway, there's a rheostat up there that's apparently a factory light dimmer switch of some sort. What's that in here? Even though your dash dimmer looks to be over there. Well, you, the headlights. you just crank the headlights up on a dark night or anyway yeah we're still looking to figure out why our starter wires got no power and we can't find a starter relay on this thing maybe i'll just google that the ancient technology over here is not helping us so far i do not like this bible okay we've been doing some reading in the old b-blay <laughs> uh you we've decided power comes from the key there is no starter relay it goes through a neutral safety switch and then right to the starter relay which is on top of the starter it's like a chevy mm -hmm. right now i've got a test light plugged into the wire coming from the key and we know there's no power going to the starter and the only thing between those down there as mentioned is the neutral safety switch so you want to turn the key we'll see if this is still good so your mice hit it before this point yeah. all right this this saves us from crawling under the vehicle all right on right yep okay so that's working so we're sending power down right here and it's not coming back up to the starter, so it's gotta be neutral safety switch. Yeah, bypass it. Yeah, I'm kinda thinking about that. A lot easier than crawling under there. Okay, took a bit of digging. I finally found our connector and jumped the in to the out. The black and white goes to the switch from the key and the black one goes to the relay from the switch. Go ahead, sir, try that. Hey, there we go. Hell yes. Okay, so bad neutral safety switch. We can just replace that, <laughs> and then that should be fixed. That's all our electrical figured out somehow, even though we only had fixed one wire. This it, one? Yeah, it like lights right off. I'd drive it to church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, you can see we've got that fixed. Let's run it again. Now we'll now move on to 
quote unquote fixing our high idle. Not the correct way. Usually on a fuel injected engine you never want to touch the idle screw on the throttle body. It should just it should just run. However, until I find that vacuum leak, there's no point at this thing sitting here at two grand, so took the easy route, turn that down and it's sounding a lot better already. Sounds okay. Sounds okay. Do we see if it moves? Yeah. Hop in there, throw it in here, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a little low on fluid. She moves. Dude. Got ourselves a runner and a driver. Yeah. Brakes feel good? Um, no. Oh, that sounds about right. But th there is some. It's oh. Just... oh, it was low on fluid. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to top that off. Dude, it started idling really good suddenly. I used those ropes. Oh. Even gooder. Well, mechanically, she's set. Let's start dealing with the stuff in the back. Next summer, Dad, can we go to Oregon? <laughs> okay, so quick lesson on electrical systems in this style of a mobile home, or usually any of them. You will have essentially three power sources. One, the battery under the hood, which is to run the engine. Two, a battery somewhere in the camper. And three, your 110 plug-in for like city power that you just straight up plug it into the side of your house or whatever, usually a 30 amp connection. The battery under the hood, will go through that full-time solenoid that we were showing earlier. And when the key is on, that will connect it to this battery back here so that the alternator in theory can charge this going down the road if everything's working correctly. Now inside the camper, you can see, We've got nothing for light, power, or anything in here. And I believe if I turn the key on, that stays the same. Oops. Yeah, even running, nothing. Oh, shit, actually, I do have power up here. These, But these might be DC off of, well, it'd be either battery, I guess. Okay, yeah, our camper power itself is still currently dead, so. These should be DC lights up here on the roof as well. This will be AC, this will only, it's literally the AC. It will only run when the camper is plugged in to an outside source, be it a generator or your house. You're gonna have a fuse box somewhere, which is this right here. We've got DC fuses from all the batteries and stuff and breakers for like air conditioning, receptacles, and stuff like that for AC. So you have your AC side and your DC side. And if I could get this seat to come off, there we go. I'm guessing this is where our battery's gonna be. Looks like it right here. Aha. Uh -huh. So that guy, no es bueno, especially being from January 2006. This will be a deep cycle battery. The one up front will not be. Oh, there's your shore power yep. wire and the hole that it goes out. Yeah, there's our, our 30 amp. One thing I did forget to mention here, actually, this power converter has a battery charger in it as well. So when this is plugged in to the 30 amp service, this, you'll hear a hum because it's charging your deep cycle battery. So in theory, you just plug your whole camper in and that gets charged instead of having to drag a battery charger in here. Probably today is have inverters so that you can run AC off of the battery. This will not. You will not have AC power without AC power being fed into the camper. All right, let's get some juice in this and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hello. Okay, well there's one. Why aren't the other ones working? Technically it could be possible all four balls burnt out, but I doubt it. No, he looks fine. Why do I only have one light? The thermostat should kick the heater on and run the blower motor. Can we try, is there like a water pump for like, like the sink and oh, stuff yeah, that we could try to turn on? Should be a whole service panel somewhere. Here it is. Lights, there's a central light switch in this one. I've never seen that. Oh, panel power. Nothing on fresh, nothing on holding. Battery condition. Why are these switches always goofy? Uh, three quarter battery power. Oh, there's your water pump. Okay, so never mind. All the DC systems work. <laughs> so I can poop in here tonight. Well, now what? 
I guess Can't our heater is the only thing left. Can we watch Shrek? <laughs> well, that all went so easy. There's about one system left, the scary one. Yeah, she's got a quarter tank on the propane. Yeah, let's make sure, let's back up. We wanna make sure that our fridge is not on propane mode. We gonna wanna make sure this is on electric. Usually it's actually on the inside now that I think of it. Yep, here's our water heater. I wanna make sure he's off, which it was on pilot, so yeah, that's that's off. The lot. Oh hello. There's a freezer in this one. Shit. You don't fit in here. I don't. The damn freezer pull open and now I can't get to this side of the camper. <laughs> okay, fuel selector, electric. I'm gonna just turn it to off. This guy's off and safe. Oh, actually, there's one more thing. Literally the oven. Okay, everything's off inside. Ezra, we survived the electrical fire potential. That was the real fire potential. The part where we try to make a fire. Well, the valve leaks. Well, that's good. Now it doesn't if you come all the way out. Mmm, yes, yeah, smells like propane. Oh, I hear gas. Mmm. Air in the wine. Mm -hmm. Did you smell it? No, not yet. But I don't want to be wrong and fill this with propane and then we explode. Especially on camera. There we oh, go. ho, ho! Oh, dude. Look at that. Fire. The propane system works. It's not the correct way to heat this tonight, but it does make it warmer. Oh God, what is the chance you work? So usually there's an on switch on the bottom of the thermostat, but it's kind of missing. So I don't, it's all bent to hell too. What did you do? Uh, thermostat was a little bent up and I didn't have the thing in the right position. The fan kicked on. Now the sketchy part. Wait for the gas to start. There's the igniter. Igniter's back off. It probably needs to bleed that line as well. Please don't blow up and kill us all. Mmm. Yeah, no bueno. No bueno. She's big unhappy for the first try. Let me reopen the contact. And reclose the contact. And we gotta wait somehow. Somehow it knows to wait 30 seconds. Igniter. Fire. Mmm. You see the little light down there? I did. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, wow. You can smell the heat coming off of that. that I never smelled BTU before. <laughs> <laughs> the thermostat even works. Well shit, there's not much left at this point. We might die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we might still have to call for warmth. That got busted out, I guess, when I brought it out to the woods. We got a little housekeeping to do in here and might need a new deep cycle, but we're set up to camp. Yeah. Let's set up camp. Let's get the cooler. Hell yeah. Now, usually in these kind of scenarios with campers, we fix them and then take them somewhere and go camping for the weekend. But this one was kind of already sitting in the campsite. So we're going to do it out of order where we fix it, go camping, and then drive it somewhere. Fix all the, the driving problems when we're out of time to fix the driving problems. Yes. All right, let's get a fire going, get some hot dogs and some beers cooking. Does that make sense? Here you go, sir. Oh. You got nine matches left. I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> well, we can always light the stove and use that to light the oh. stick. I'll save one in case I'm that bad. All right, now strike it. <laughs> don't worry, I was an Eagle Scout. I'll put my face right above it when I, oh. <laughs> this guy. What? This guy. <laughs> I missed it by like that much and it didn't light. <laughs> Get some charcoals built up, go find some hot dog sticks and have lunch. Well, Ezra lunch is a little late today. You know what? Not that bad. It's only five. Oh yes, look at that. Now we'll fry them in a special fish oil and put some kind of weird fish eggs on them and it'll be a uh, Japanese tots because we drove our, t we're camping in a Toyota. And we drove Honda. Tatsuratsu. <laughs> I just remember the smiley face character in the Japanese language. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely in the word. You know the part of November I don't like? Where it's dark at five o'clock? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I suppose at this point it's time for a good hydration session. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. The tots, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say the tots came out great. I just saw them under the light. <laughs> After enough teas, they taste good. <laughs> we'll be totted <laughs> and tatered. <laughs> what, what was the Japanese tots?
Tatsurazzi or something? Tatsu, Tatsumazzi? I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. Tatsu. Tatsurazzi. All right. Date or dot you later. The wood we found around us is burning well, and the camper is doing great. However, it is quite cold out here in the absolute pitch black this where there's no context. So I'm going to scroll back over here. That vent we found earlier in the day, still not present. The poop mobile. I think there is a extra vent in one of those cabinets up top. So we can go steal that and fix this one. Should we go check it out? We should probably go check it out. Before it gets dark. <laughs> Good call, good call. And we need sun No, we don't need that. <laughs> we need the... Are you sure the sun is no, not out? No, yes, I'm sure the sun is not out. I, I know there's a damn cover in here. Oh, yeah, the big obvious drawer. It even has instructions. Look at that, straight out of the 80s. We can Bounding use this to tape tabs. it down. Hey, you know what that is, right? Tape? No, handyman secret weapon. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what they say, the women don't find a handsome, they should at least find a handy. Amen, brother. We've come to get blankets and found a dog in my backyard. Low key is damn near a blanket. This good. is this is Braxton the dog. Uh, we found a collar on him. Called the owners. They're hopefully coming to get him. So, you know, good segue here into whatever the hell happens next. He's so nice. I mean, if they don't come and get him, I suppose he can sleep on Ezra. I would cuddle with you, buddy. Well, Braxton the dog, TM, yep. has now been returned home. Yeah. He is safe. I kind of wanted to cuddle. And then I was sad that he did have to go home. Uh, we need to harvest blankets and stuff from the poop mobile. Let's go figure that out. And then head back to the fire we left burning out, out in the woods. That's a great idea. Yep, yep. No, this is... Smokey the Bear would be proud. Welcome to the blanket races. We got pillows, we got blankets. And we're heading back to the camper. We're going to set a lap record here at the same time. And just like that, we're back at base camp. The old 250SX from Minnesota, still kicking ass just about as bad as it did before. I think this is a way different shape. No way, there's a dustpan. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Look at that. I think I'll turn the heater on, fits like a glove. My dad once told me if you want to go fast, you need 60 mile an hour duct tape. Doing at my house. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What did you find? I found a little mascot. This guy's name's Greg. He he was climbing on a tree. Now we're just chilling. He's we're a friend. Chilling. Maybe we'll give him a hot dog. Did you know that possums are first of all, you can hold them like a cat. I literally just found this on a tree. This is my friend, Greg too. He's he's a good boy. Whoa! <laughs> Feisty little bastard. Come here. No, Greg, too, come back. Their body temperature's too low for rabies or Lyme disease. They also clean themselves really well. And they just eat bugs and shit. So don't shoot possums. They're clearly awesome. Man, he's going to be honored. He's going to go tell his friends, yeah, and they're, they're never going to believe him. Okay. Can we sleep with him in the camper? Oh, you bet. <laughs> How could that possibly go? Possibly oh, oh, wrong. you beat me to it. <laughs> Who's a fucking kitty? <laughs> All right, here we go, midnight snack. <laughs> Let me just grab the bottom of this tree. There we go. <laughs> Kevin, uh, your hot dogs are cooking in the county next door. <laughs> By the time you get them to your mouth, they're going to be cold. Dude, this, this is the Oldsmobile 98 of sticks. <laughs> you like a hot dog? What? Whoa! Dude, you almost right, knocked me out. I hit the head of my winner. <laughs> well, that's night. It's only 2.30. About time we call her good. We're out of, we're out, out, of wood, out of wood. Out of wood. The camera's shaking because it's like, it got cold. Apparently 20 mile an hour wind that suddenly has begun. You, so You did check. The heater does work. It do. It do. It do. It do. It do. And you put the new flap on. It's put the new flap on. So, and we got at least one blanket in there. <laughs> All right, let me get the heater going. I got to bend this bent thing to connect the full time. There we go. Oh, oh there we go. Let's see if she lights. Oh, she's lit. And, yep, I can smell it. She's got heat. Good. All right, let's clean this disaster we made earlier. Oh? Yep. Huh? Now do we... <laughs> hey, sweet, we don't know <laughs> Dude, we could open the blinds and, like, watch everybody. <laughs> it's like TV, but live. This, okay, that moves, so there has to be a... 
a lever or something. Oh, I God. gave you Pete's Palace and you give me this. <laughs> Man, only the most avid viewers of the channel are going to get that one. Oh, I heard something click. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. There we go. I won. All right. Hey, I can live on that. You know, if you want to actually get good footage of me in my cool guy bed. I don't want to have any footage of you in a bed, but here I am. I'm, I'm this is away. pretty good. For as small as this camper is, I'm blown It away sleeps how too excellently. Yes. You got, you got to turn your light off. Oh. I just got comfy. <laughs> All right. Good night. The world is so much bigger out here. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. How was sleeping in the camper? It was okay. It was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my bed was pretty comfy. Yeah, mine has a crack in the middle where the, the couch meets. Oh, you know? yeah. It, uh, that threw me off a little bit, but but other than that, it was great. The heater, uh, it was warm in there all night. I don't think the thermostat works right. I felt bad for you. Yeah, I did get Every hot. 90 seconds, it would turn on for 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, that was the most annoying part. You'd be like, all right, finally fall asleep. And then it would start blowing, and you're like, huh? Oh. Take that as a total win. Let's pack up camp and hit the road. See how she drives finally. <laughs> All right, campsite's all cleaned up. Ready to hit the road? See what this thing's got in it. I mean, a little four banger to life. Let's do it. Better we can return to civilization. Ignore the truck. <laughs> Silverado looks pretty civil to me. <laughs> well, this is going well. I don't think I hear a fuel pump. Have to jump it again? Maybe. It runs great. Just gotta kickstart the fuel pump in the morning after she sits. Alright! Onward! Dude, it's like everything this little four banger has. The freaking stream of steam coming up the exhaust. It's slipping, I can't tell. We never did check tranny fluid. We should probably do that before we burn this out, and then we got a big problem on our hands. Oh, yeah, there's none. We might need some of that. Okay, is there a vacuum line we don't particularly need? Over here. Oh, yeah, 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 that one we took off because it wasn't hooked to anything. Dude, brilliant. This will do it. Like, literally, if they made this dipstick 10 inches longer, it'd be right here and it wouldn't be a problem. What the hell? <laughs> this is stupid. All right, well, we'll get this in here eventually and then we'll give her another go. One quart of transmission fluid later. That should be good to go. Does the heat work in here? Oh, <laughs> she vibrates a little. Holy oh. Moses! Oh my god! Look at the dash. That's the vibrating dash. I've never in my life seen a blower motor that bad. Okay. Oh, she goes into gear a little better. Oh, oh world of difference. 100% better. Whoops. <laughs> Should have checked that earlier. It's a Toyota. It was fine. Yeah, it doesn't need that anyway. This weird looking up into it. Oh, I'm crashing. <laughs> like up, it's above us instead of straight back oh, yeah. and level. We're down in the cockpit. Yeah, that's weird. Brake lights on it. We never did bleed the rears yet. We're driving the Toyota into a tree. I think we left the chair up there. Oh yeah. That might have gotten taken off by now. Ah! Moses! It's the Bible! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I just, just fell out of nowhere. Where was that? Did I sleep on top of that all night? Oh yeah. Oh, now I can see those two little stripes. Let's get some speed in her. Oh yeah, dude. Actually though, this thing moves good. That's better than I was expecting for a little four banger. Like, maybe a little more training fluid? Yeah, let's throw some stop slip in it. All right, well, we've returned to civilization. Let's uh, see if we can bleed up these rear brakes and get some stop slip in this, see if we can get that trans to work a little better. 
right. Ezra threw some brake fluid in it. He's pumping it right now. These might bleed themselves up. I think they're just low. Probably some air in the uh, rear lines from the master or the wheel cylinders leaking. If I had to guess. Oh yeah, you're getting tons of bubbles. It's starting to feel like not good, but better. Getting there. While he's doing that, I found a funnel in Civilization, and I'm gonna put some stop slip in this because we're still a court low and. Let's be real, that transmission's been abused until life. It could probably use this. This stuff is great. The only problem with it is it's super, super thick. So when it's cold out like it is today, I'm gonna be here for an hour. Brake pedal feels a lot better. We've got another quart in the trans. Whatever that was about. Brake light's off. Everything's happy here. Let's see how she does. Ooh, the check engine light is out. Yeah. She's really coming back around. We didn't put the fresh gas in it. windows are very nice. better than like the Chevy G body wagon campers. This drives down the road like a little Toyota pickup. I'm not getting rocked around or anything, which I thought for sure the light chassis would be terrible in the wind, but this is kind of confusing, honestly, how good this thing is. I'm kind of blown away by this. Let's get in a little bit here. Here comes a little stumble, here comes the timing. Thank God for that exhaust leak. I have no idea how many RPM we're doing. <laughs> it's 45. Good go, a little 22 RE. Go get him. There's 50. Like, it can shift any time now. There we go. Kind of torn. <laughs> Why is this drive so much better than the, than the Chevys? I should be excited right now instead of confused. I, I should be excited this drives really well. It'll sell easier. There you go. That's impressive. Best of all, horn works. What more could you really ask for? All right, Toyota, you've impressed me. I've always been really confused how the hell people drove these 100,000 miles and drove them all over the country, but yeah, it does really well. Somehow they took a little four-banger truck and made one hell of a camper. All right, well, there you have it. We took this old Toyota camper that we bought on Marketplace, hauled it off into the woods, fixed it up, camped in it, and Ended the video with a running and driving vehicle. Ready to go on Marketplace and get the hell out of my yard. Well done. All right, well there you have it folks. A running and driving 86 Toyota camper. This thing has impressed me. It sleeps two people pretty well. Everything inside worked. The engine came right to life. Check engine light went off, it runs excellent. Still got the goofy have to like manually trigger the fuel pump the first time in the morning. I don't know what that's about. But other than that, everything works and it drives way better than I would have ever guessed. So yes, these are an option if you want something to just travel highways and go camping for a weekend. Either way, from all of us here at Junkyard Digs, thank you very much for joining us on today's episode. Thank you to Ezra for all his help. Make sure you guys go check out our merch, which is not this shirt, on junkyarddigs.com. We'll see you right here for another episode next week. Peace. Of decent camper material. <laughs>